Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring my weekly review of Van Helsing on Sci-Fi. This week we've seen Season 1, Episode 12, which is called He's Coming. And of course, this being what you would call the uh, penultimate episode of the season. Of course, uh, next week being the season finale of the show. Um, still really cool to already know we're getting a season 2. You know, I found out like roughly midway through uh, this season. Um, so, you know, still very reassuring. Um... But yeah, after uh, after last week's episode, um, you know, I was having you know mixed feelings about the show. I still I still don't really agree with their decision about uh, Susan. Um, it was surprising, I'll give them that. But I feel like, or I would prefer them doing other things with their character, having her go on for a while longer, have her and Vanessa you know develop a little bit more, and uh, you know th things of that nature. Um, and with uh, Sam, you know, I'm still having mixed feelings on him at this point too. Because on one hand, I would have preferred the character direction of him still being a good guy with a sad, tragic backstory of some form, and you know, sort of that being explored at some point. But at the same time, you know, Christopher Heyerdahl, you know, he does a great job, and it's even more, it's really becoming more evident, you know, because he is you know creepy, he's you know intense. So the fact that he's a vampire right now, I can't really you know complain on that end either. We now have another you know, good villain out there, really. Um, Rebecca's still my favorite antagonist uh, type of character on the show. Um, you know, I just find her to be the most interesting so far, and I really like uh, Laurie Manel, so... I mean, you know, Dimitri, you know, he's definitely asserting himself now. We're definitely getting to see more of him. Um, but I think my two favorite villains are definitely Rebecca and Sam at this point. You know, just with uh, how personal of a connection Sam has, you know, to uh, especially Mohammed. Um... But of course, what he's done to Vanessa's life and such, too. And of course, like I said, I just like Rebecca, so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But after last week's episode, I know some people are going to be uh, perhaps a little bit hesitant to watch this week's one, um, or at least uh, looking at it with different eyes. Um, like I said, although I, I do disagree with the decision of Susan last week, I am still enjoying the show. It's still one of my favorites to watch each week, for sure. Um,. And uh, sign up for a really good, what should be a really good uh, finale next week. And I like this episode overall. Um, you know, it didn't quite hit me like uh, last week's did that, but that's probably because you didn't lose any main characters. Um, oh well, we lost a couple characters, but you know, no one like uh, Susan uh, Caliber for sure. Uh, but you know, we start off, you know, pretty much right almost right from where it left off, you know, with uh, Sam, you know, he's running through the, through the woods again, uh, you know, Christopher Heyerdahl just doing a really good job of that, even that's kind of intense to watch. Um, and they're able to, uh, you know, get some distance from him when they cross a river, and Mahomet's able to point out that, uh, despite being a vampire, you know, Sam still has a sphere of water, and that appears to be the case. So I'm wondering if that's the case, you know, with uh, other vampires who still have a bit of their uh, mind or intellect left, that they still have those uh, things in their heads about, you know, their past lives, really. Um, I don't think the ferals would care, but, you know, I think anyone with some intelligence left might still hold on to something like that, maybe. Um, it's interesting. Um... And, I, and he ends up uh, feeding on a small animal. He, like, uh, reaches into a hole. I'm not sure what kind of animal it was, but he reaches into a hole, it bites him once, but then he goes back in and just uh, crushes it, and he feeds on that to gain some form of sustenance, if at all, any at all, um, you know, to keep him going as he uh, hunts for uh, Vanessa and Muhammad. Um, Vanessa and Muhammad, meanwhile, they end up staying at this uh, shack or cabin um, you know, Muhammad had been at before. And, you know, he talks about how he still, uh, you know, is hesitant when it comes to Sam, or he's still, like, he still cares about Sam to some extent. Um, you know, despite what he's done or what he turned into, um, you know, he still holds on to this memory of how Sam actually saved him, you know, when the, everything was first going down. He's with this group, and, you know, things went wrong, and Sam basically ended up healing him, you know, like, patching him up and taking care of him. Um, so it's, a uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. Muhammad also mentions uh, later that, uh, or also references back to when Sam had actually uh, said he was the killer. You know, at the time that had, you know, when uh, Muhammad was being exiled from the bunker, uh, at the time we had thought Sam was just uh, covering for Muhammad, but 
it shows that Sam was actually willing to tell the truth at that point to uh, you know save Muhammad. So whatever Sam is, you know, however twisted of a person he is, some weird part of him apparently does care about Muhammad to some extent, which is I find to be pretty interesting too. Um, Vanessa also asks him about the uh, you know truth that Sam had mentioned. He you know, like tell her the truth and things like that. Um, you know, which I thought was good of her to actually you know uh, look into a little bit more. Uh, basically, Muhammad sort of brushes it off as just something uh, Sam was trying to say to throw him off, you know, and it worked. But I think there is something uh, Muhammad is keeping from Vanessa. Now, do I think Muhammad is going to turn into like a villain too or something? No, I, I don't think they're going to deal with Muhammad. Like I said, he's sort of like the Glenn of, uh, you know, Van Helsing, you know, of course, uh, Glenn on The Walking Dead and such. So I think Muhammad's still going to be like a good oriented character at his heart but I do think there is something he is hiding from Vanessa or at least a greater maybe a greater extent to what to like his knowledge of what Sam is doing perhaps maybe I don't know um, but he does uh, say when they're entering the uh, compound later on that he has all these regrets um, things he did do things he didn't do so I'm wondering if we're going to hear more about it later perhaps we'll see um we had Julius, he uh, killed Magnolia um, on the tree, you know, because he had a questioner about Vanessa, and he ended up just putting an arrow through her heart. And we see uh, Flesh, he escapes with Theo, they had escaped the, uh, of course, Eden before, uh, you know, Julius is led there, so that's good. And then we also had Muhammad uh, upset by Vanessa, you know, as she's hesitating to go to the camp, you know, she sort of questions how much it would be worth it since they're not totally sure um shima or uh even uh, dylan's there you know we know dylan's not going to be there i don't think so but uh you know it's understandable you know is vanessa willing to risk this like side mission you know like with uh, no certainty behind it just to you know with potentially being stopped completely in her search and being captured again and Muhammad gets upset with her here because, you know, their families, they're supposed to trust each other, they're supposed to go side by side with each other. But, you know, that's kind of weird because I still feel like Muhammad's keeping something from Vanessa, so you might want to look at yourself, buddy. <laughs> but despite, you know, some of their uh, back and forth in this episode, especially at the end as well, um, I still do really like uh, Kelly Overton and uh, Trezo's scenes together. You know, I, I like sort of their connection, sort of like a brother and sister type of thing. Um, so I do uh, hope... Uh, well, obviously, Vanessa's going to make it out of the season, but I hope uh, Muhammad makes it as well. Uh, we found out that Julius is actually going to be summoned by Dimitri. Uh, Sam, he ends up finding the cabin. And, you know, I th one I thought was kind of a bit on the dumb side was that Vanessa and uh, Muhammad, they're making plans, you know, about the uh, compound or the camp and such. And they you know they had uh, drawn like this uh, way there and such and so sam sees that so he knows exactly where they're going when they think like sam might find that cabin eventually i know uh muhammad had said uh he had never told sam about it um but i still think just through the forest and his like tracking abilities along you know with his intelligence and his uh you know enhancements because you know with that as a vampire i, I would think they would uh know to erase that or like cross it off or something i i don't know or like uh misdirect them somehow i thought that would have been cool but it seems like they would have thought of that but you know it's whatever you know you can't have uh, sam just like wandering around the woods forever i guess so um we have sammy finally does catch up to uh you know vanessa and mohammed i like the uh back and forth i had their, their little fight scene here um although i am getting a little bit tired of vanessa just getting you know pretty much owned all the time i know she's uh she's not just a human but you know she's not quite on the level of other vampires yet she hasn't really been trained too much but still i mean i'm waiting for her to like really show off vanessa's uh fighting abilities again we've seen it a couple times we've seen how she can handle some of the regular like ferals and stuff but you know, I'm getting years here, you know, to perhaps become even more capable. Uh, she tries to use the sword that doesn't work very well, unfortunately. You know, she's not quite on Michonne's level yet, but you know, I appreciate the effort. And uh, 
Sam ends up being able to uh, knock Vanessa out. You know, he's about to bite her neck, but then he remembers or sort of like smells, uh, you know, her blood. Of course, he says it smells like death. Um, Sam, had, I think Sam had previously had known about that, so that might have clicked them again too. So he doesn't want to turn back into a human or die or something like that. So again, showing his uh, some of his cleverness there that he still retains. Um. And then uh, we had Sam, he was actually warded off by when Vanessa is able to recover and she fires it off at him and uh, Sam sort of flees temporarily. And uh, she points out how Muhammad hesitated there and again that's just you know tied back to how he does still care about Sam no matter what really. Um, we had Sam, he was taken in by Julius's mother. And I'm sorry, I forget her exact name right now, but you know, I still think she has a really cool look to her. She makes a really good uh, older looking vampire, I think. Um, so did Magnolia, by the way, but you know, she's gone now. <laughs> They're both gone, actually, because uh, she is sort of like uh, seductively asking Sam, you know, about Vanessa and such. Uh, I thought they were actually going to have like a quick fling on screen or something like that, uh, but she is asking about Vanessa and Muhammad. Um, Sam said he'd be willing to talk about Vanessa, but he's not, you know, you know saying anything about Muhammad. You know, he's his. Um, Sam, you know, pretty much wants Muhammad, you know, to turn with him. So again, some weird part of him does still care about Muhammad in his own weird way, I think. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of a surprising result later on when Julius returns, um, you know, to that tent there, and he finds his mom actually dead and a finger missing. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'm kind of wondering about uh, Sam's allegiance now. Obviously, he's going to be an enemy to Vanessa um, and probably Muhammad to some extent, but, you know, he just kind of, like, uh, spat on the face of one of the main vampire groups, in a way. So maybe he, just does, he doesn't really care. You know, he's probably just going to be out on his own or something, maybe, and I think that's kind of cool. Um, but we'll see. Either way, he makes for a pretty good antagonist, you know, despite me wanting them to keep Sam a good guy. Um, this way is good too. You know, like I said, Christopher hired all this does a good job with him. I'm happy to see he's uh, able to uh, pull off certain things like that. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, then we had a uh, flush. He's actually found by Brent. You know, Brendan. Um, Someone I haven't seen for a you know, good handful of episodes now, um, but he uh, is able to find flush. He has this little camp set up. You know, which is nice. Uh, we didn't see what happened to Theo, though. They got separated somehow. Um, I don't be surprised if Theo is just dead at this point, but he probably isn't. But I'm also hoping they still just kill Theo and uh, Axel's still out there somehow. <laughs> and uh, Brendan, he leads them to, uh, you know, Taka, you know, one of the resistance leaders. Um, when he led him to the camp, I was hoping he already had Axel there or something like that alive. That would have been cool. Um, I still think there's a chance for Axel to pop up in the finale, maybe, or maybe in season two. But I feel like if Axel is still out there or alive somehow, I don't know. Um, I feel like they're going to have to do it in the finale, or else, you know, probably not. Um, I still think they might bring him back somehow because they've killed off a lot of characters now. Um, but yeah. Um. We had uh, Vanessa and Muhammad attack this truck of uh, the collaborators, you know, humans who have basically just completely bent the knee to the vampires and they're doing what they please. Or, I mean, doing whatever the vamps please. And uh, they're able to uh, kill the vampire there. Vanessa, you know, uh, bites the vampire and turns him. Um, and he dies. And then they take their outfits, they enter the compound. And it's kind of cool to see more of the compound, you know, they're set up for it and stuff. Um, like I said, Flesh ends up meeting Taka. Um, Vanessa ends up finding, she ends up finding, uh, you know, these blood bags, you know, people hanging and just being, like, drained and, uh, chopped up, you know, uh, as they want. Uh, and basically this butcher, you know, he's a bigger guy, he's about, uh, Sam's height, but quite a bit bulkier. And, uh, Vanessa ends up having a pretty, uh, solid fight scene with him, too, you know, I like the whole look of the room and such, very bloody, very, uh, you know, creepy, like, uh, evil within Resident Evil looking, so that was cool. Um, of course the games, you know, there are some evil games, the movies, E. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. I'm totally like that here. I was a little bit annoyed at first because Vanessa supposedly got knocked out again. I was like, come on, give her some credit here. Um, but Vanessa is able to come to again, and she, you know, is able to kill, you know, kill him, so that was good. 
Um, she she tries to use the uh, katana as well, but she's not having any luck with that, unfortunately. But she does manage to kill him, which is good. Uh, Julius ends up finding his mother dead with a finger missing, like I said. The only intriguing move for uh, Vampire Sam. Um, yeah, but now so she's just desperately searching for Dylan at this point. Uh, and, you know, she finds out more details from this woman. You know, it's basically a blood farm. They supposedly don't have any children there. Um, so I didn't think we'd see uh, Dale in this episode. Um, there might be some kind of surprise reveal in the finale, maybe. But I, I don't think we're going to see Dale in this season. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Um, and she uh, she's able to get back to the truck when the alarms go off. And she doesn't want to leave without Muhammad, though. And Muhammad's just staying there at first. I thought he was turned all of a sudden, maybe. But he was uh, basically uh, bait to lure out Vanessa again. And uh, Vanessa comes face to face with Dimitri, which is you know pretty cool. This really giving you that uh, nearing season finale feel to it. Um, so that being for the first time, it's definitely intense. You know, definitely uh, yeah, this like nervous feeling about it. You know, again, they're not going to kill Vanessa, but it's still like uh, an important scene for sure. Um, and uh, we find out that uh, Muhammad actually had uh, led. Dimitri to Vanessa, you know, he probably didn't have a choice, he might have said something about Shima, who knows, um, and uh, Vanessa, she ends up jumping at him with the katana, Dimitri easily catches her, and then, you know, he knocks her out, and that's set for next week's episode, it's definitely, uh, uh, you know, a perilous setup for the finale, for sure, and then we also had that meeting with, uh, Julius and, uh, you know, Dimitri a little bit earlier, I, I forgot to mention, um, you know, basically says, uh, talks about all of Julius's failings, how he can earn his place back, but he starts obeying him now. You know, he sort of throws the chase for Vanessa fail in his face. And uh, Julius, he does try to attack him a little bit to take that power, but we see just how much stronger Dimitri is or Julius. Julius, you know, he still has that size. And, uh, you know, the actor, you know, he's very intimidating looking, but Dimitri's quite a bit older, so he's quite a bit more powerful too. And we've seen it there. Well, yeah, overall, good episode. I'm going to give it an 8.5, 8.6 out of 10. Um, again, despite me not really agreeing with some of the decisions of the characters last week, uh, I'm still heavily enjoying the show, easily one of my favorites still on for sure, and uh, very eager to see how they're going to close off the season. should be very good. Um, it's going it's to suck to have to wait till next year to see more of this show, but hey, at least you now we're getting a second season already, so that's awesome as fuck. <laughs> Excuse my language, but if you guys enjoyed this video, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.